Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing fantastic. On today's Division 2 video, I will be giving you guys a priority guide as well as an explanation to your Shade Watch. What to do first, basically that's what we're going to be talking about today. So, we will start with the offensive box, which is going to be your top left. And this one holds weapon damage, headshot damage, crit chance, and crit damage. I would advise you to go for the obvious one, which is going to be the weapon damage. Nothing beats the raw 10% boost to base damage, and the reason why I wouldn't go ahead and pick crit damage or crit chance first is mainly because those are easy talents and attributes. So, those are things that you can easily get from armor pieces and mods within the game and you know the max crit chance in the game is 60 percent so anything above that will not show on the stat table and as far as headshot damage is concerned that is a very niche playstyle that will fit into the sharpshooter class now unless you're just going for sharpshooter then you're not really going to get that huge benefit from this one unless you're just uh you know you're just pretty good with your shots so weapon damage is going to be my go-to for this one right here moving on from that to the bottom left which is going to be utility this is where you have your skill stats right here i juggle back and forth in between skill damage and repair skills now i'm going to tell you something that a lot of you probably didn't know before talents that give you things such as bonus armor benefits greatly from skill repair so things such as vanguard unbreakable protector they all have this benefit and it can even be noticed whenever you're able to get back 70 percent or 80 percent of your armor in pvp or even in the dark zone because it's a repair effect it's considered a repair skill so if you run things such as unbreakable skill repair is going to be your friend so i will say go back and forth in between skill repair and skill damage if you are making skill builds as well in the third spot we have the defensive bonus for this one i will choose armor first then after that i will go over to hazard protection or in your case you can flip it back and forth health and explosive resistance are nice but if your armor is broken your health kind of means nothing hazard is a status damage and that thing eats through your health regardless of how much health you have it deals a percentage damage so even if you have a billion or a million health points it will still eat out those things and it bypasses armor as well so armor and hazard protection is going to be the most important here for my own play style i just went for armor first and then i will go on and start specking into hazard protection later on however for your play style you can go with hazard protection first since you already have maybe more than a million armor to begin with finally we have the handling spot which is going to be the bottom right i'm just going to go ahead and say this Three of these perks can be easily developed with you just getting better in the game or with certain attributes within the game gear system itself. The only important one right here is going to be ammo capacity. The rest are just particular to a specific weapon type, maybe LMG for the reload speed, but when it comes to ammo capacity, that is one thing that you can't just easily get. So to summarize everything, go for weapon damage in the first slot, skill repair and skill damage oscillating back and forth in the second one, armor and hazard protection in the third spot, and finally ammo capacity in the fourth spot. Hopefully this explains a few things to you guys, and if you already know these things, well, thank you either way for showing up and watching this video. As always, it's DA signing out. I'll see you all in the next one.